The latest KD basketball shoes at Sports Basement cost the store $82 to purchase. The general manager wants to mark them up 25%. How much will they cost a customer? So if I mark something up 25%, we can actually multiply 82 by 1.25, right? Because one will give us the $82, the 0.25, 25 percent will give us the markup. And if I multiply 82 times 1.25, I will get the new marked up price. Okay, so if I go ahead and do that, Oof, running out of room here. If I add all those, I get a 0, 5, 10, 11, 12, 1, 8, 9, 10. $102.50. Okay, the other way we could have done it is we just could have found 25% of 82. So um, what I like to do, if I know 82 is 100%, 50% would be half that, 25% would be half that, so 20, 50. And that would have been the markup. So I could have just taken $82 and added $20.50, right, the markup, and got 102.50, okay? Just a different way of doing it. Could have multiplied by 1.25, or I could have found, just use mental math, found 25% and added it to the original amount. Okay, now, two months later, the general manager wants to mark the shoes down 25% for a weekend sale. Okay, how much will they cost a customer pre-tax? So we have the new price, $102.50. We want to mark it down 25%. So if we want to use this method, we take 1 and subtract 0.25, which is 75%. So I want to know what 75 percent of this will be and that's going to be the new price or if we like the other way i did it we'll sh i'll show you the mental math way okay so we'll go ahead and i'm not going to bore you with multiplying this out by hand 102.5 times 0.75 76 dollars and 875 cents so we'll take this 76 dollars and 88 cents all right, let's go ahead and cover these up so we don't get distracted. So last question. I bought a jacket for $72. It was 20% off. How much was the original price? So let's get a drawing here of what's happening. Here's 0%. Here's 100%. 20% off is 80%. Okay. So <clears throat> we want to know what this number is, what the 100% was, when we know that 80% of the original cost was 72 bucks. Okay, so 80% is 72. So let's take 70, let's find out what 10% is, right? Well, if we take 72 and divide it by eight, that's $9. So that means every 10% is $9, right? Nine, 18, if you just keep counting nines, you get to 72. Well, if 80% is 72, then 100% is 90. Right, if 10% is 9, 100% would be 90. So there you go. The other way we could have done this is said 80% of the original price is $72. And then divided, and you end up with x is equal to 72 divided by 0 0.8, which is $90. Okay, there's always going to be multiple ways to do these problems.